So today the question goes to this. How do we find coterminal angles? Uh, how do we find coterminal angles if we have radians or if we have degrees? And it's not a simple thing, but it, I think it makes some sense that the way that we do that is first we this is an incredibly important part here that we start with our angle in standard position and you're going to hear me say this a lot and I want you to think about this and write down this note on standard position standard position is an angle that has its vertex at the point zero zero it has its initial ray its starting ray on top of the x-axis it opens counterclockwise ending here where this is its terminal ray so I'm saying to you that I have that everything we're talking about today is I have, we have our our angle and our angle's name is theta. Theta is the angle of interest. So our angle theta is in standard position, and I want to know what are its coterminal angles. So I'm going to suggest you let's say, call this 45 degrees. Yeah. So let's say our angle is, you know what? Let's make our angle 60 degrees. Our angle is 60 degrees because it, well, it looks more like 60 degrees to me than it does like 45. So this is all I'm saying. Isn't it true? That if I go around this circle twice, I'd have 360 degrees. If I went around it, uh, no, if I went around this circle once, I'd have 360 degrees. If I went around it twice, I'd have 720. And I would keep adding 360, right? And, and if I did that, I'd keep ending up at the same place. Where here, I'm starting, I'm saying to you, I'm starting, we're starting here at 60 degrees. And we're, so we're starting at theta is 60 degrees. Should label that on the inside, but it doesn't fit well, so forgive me, those math heads out there. Good for you. Um, and I'm suggesting to you that if I start here, right, and I go around again, now I have a new angle, and that new angle, right, that new angle is 60 degrees plus 360 degrees, which is, do some math with me, is 420 degrees, isn't it? And what I'm suggesting to you is this. And this is going to become really, really clear as we start to go through sine and cosine curves that, where these angular values are recurring, the, the, these uh, secular values, which is going to make a ton of sense to you. Don't worry. But I'm saying, so what if we were at 420 degrees? That's what's in green. And we were here, so we went around again. Right? We went around again. Uh, some other people might show it this way. See, that we started here, and then we went around once, and then we went around twice. But this is prettier for me, so if you don't mind, I'm going to do that. So we went around here again, and we ended up back here. Then wouldn't we have started at 420, and wouldn't we have added another 360 degrees? And wouldn't the angular value, this is degrees here, wouldn't the new angular value be, was it 780? 708, well, 780 degrees. So that I think that makes a little bit of sense, doesn't it? Uh, we could go negative coterminal angles. Um, you have to be careful if your professor asks you for a negative coterminal angle where you start from. Let's say that we started from um, um, 60. Yeah, let's, you know what, let's start from 60. Let's, you know what, let's start from 720. Let's, now, let's see if we can find, right, you know what, let's just start here. Let's say, you know what, so and as a new question, your professor says to you, Find two negative coterminal angles of 780 degrees. You say, oh, yeah, well, um, that guy on the, the video said subtract 360 degrees, so that's what I'm going to do. And you subtract, okay, i got to do it vertically. And you subtract 360 degrees. And, of course, we already did this math. I don't know why I got so freaked out. And you got 420. Well, let me ask you this question. Is 420 degrees, is that a negative angle? Now, it, that angle is coterminal to this angle, but is it negative? So when we're talking about negative coterminal, right, we have the ones we did before were positive coterminal, but we're talking about negative coterminal, that means that angle must turn out to be a negative angle, and we're not there yet, are we? So you say, okay, well, let's maybe, uh, Charlie, we'll take a, uh, subtract another 360 degrees, and then we'll definitely have a negative coterminal angle. And we do that, and lo and behold, of course, we get back to our original, what was it, 60 degrees. We get back to our original 60 degrees, and then I ask you as, as your uh, kind and, and uh, benevolent professor, is this negative? Is 60 degrees negative? And hopefully you're saying, no, uh, that's not cool because you set me up, but no, that's not negative. So what you have to do is, that you're, you're, I know you already, you already caught on this, so yeah, subtract another 360. Now we have negative 300 degrees. So there, there's a there's a negative coterminal angle. This is this is the first negative coterminal angle to 780 degrees. We have to unwind that thing, right? So okay, and I said unwind it, but I meant unwind it this way, right? Because as you go this way, angles are positive 
to the right angles become negative. That's another conversation. So is that all right? I'm thinking now what I'm going to do. If you don't mind, I'm going to kind of wrap this up. I don't know how much time I just spent on this. But I'm going to wrap this up in, in – gosh, I don't know how much time I have. Um, yeah, let's wrap this up, and then I'm going to do a, a really short video on how to find – Coterminal angles for uh, for radian measures. Okay, all right. Take good notes. Keep practicing this stuff. You're gonna get great at it. I promise.